In this short video, we'll take a look at some of the course reserve features that you may not be familiar with. One useful capability of the course reserve system is the ability to clone reserve items from previous courses. All course lists submitted to the new system will be archived indefinitely. From the main menu, navigate to the course you would like to add items to. Then click Add Reserve Items. From here, select the course you would like to import items from. Notice the top of this page lists information pertaining to the courses you are importing from and importing to. By reviewing this information, you can be sure you are importing items correctly. Check the desired items you wish to import and then click Import Items. Course proxy users are individuals like administrative assistants or TAs who may be given permission to administer your courses on your behalf. There are two types of proxy user permissions. The first is full proxy permission. Full proxy permission would be suitable for graduate assistants or other department staff. The second type of proxy permission is for individual course proxy users, and this permission may be suitable for TAs. To create a full proxy user, click Full Proxy Users from the menu on the left. Input the AD username for the person you wish to give permission to and click Add Proxy User. You can check which individuals are proxy users by looking at the list provided on this page. To add a course-specific proxy user, navigate to the Course Details page for a specific course. From here, click Course Proxy Users from the left menu. Then input the individual's AD username to give them administrative permission for the individual course. Once assigned, course proxy users will be able to log into the course reserve system with their AD username and password. The course reserve system lets you subscribe to email notifications that will inform you of when a new item becomes available for a course. You can receive email notifications by subscribing to a course from the course details page. After selecting the appropriate course, click Subscribe Now. Once clicked, you will receive email notifications. To unsubscribe, navigate to the course detail page and click Please Remove My Subscription. You may view system emails by clicking My Emails from the menu option on the left. Also available to you are course reserve item usage statistics. Usage statistics will tell you how often a specific item is used for a course. To access this information, navigate to a specific course. From the course details page, click reserve item usage. Usage information will appear in the table at the bottom of the page. Lastly, the reserve system allows you to export the information for your courses. To export course information, click Export Course Info from the Course Details page. This information will be exported to an Excel spreadsheet. If you need assistance with the course reserve system, please contact reserve staff at reserves at ucsd.edu or 858-534-1212.